The new Ducati Panigale V4 is the new superbike benchmark. According to the MCN, the new Panigale V4 is the fastest superbike that they have ever tested. The Panigale V4 also marks a major shift in the history of Ducati. For the first time, Ducati is ditching the traditional V twin in favor of a V4. This move might upset some of their hardcore fans and Ducati is well aware of that. So they worked really hard on this new motorcycle to make it feel as close to a traditional flagship Ducati from the past. And that is quite evident right from the moment you started out. The exhaust note that the new V4 produces is reminiscent of their old big board V twins rather than a traditional V4. So how did they do that? That's what we are going to find out in this video. We all know that the exhaust note is a result of the combustion happening inside the engine. So higher the number of cylinders, louder will be the exhaust. Also, the arrangement of cylinders has a big influence in the way an engine sounds. But even the engines with similar configurations can have different sound tracks. Take the Yamaha R1 and Honda CBR 1000 RR as an example. Both of those motorcycles have inline 4 engines, but they sound radically different. That's mainly due to the difference in the firing order. So in order to properly explain the reason behind the Panigale V4's distinctive V-twin rumble, first we need to take a look at the traditional V4 engine. For that purpose, let's consider the firing order of the Aprilia RS V4. In the Aprilia, the cylinder on the rear bank on the alternator side fires first at 0 degree. Then the cylinder on the front bank on the same side fires at 180 degrees. After a long break of 245 degrees later, the cylinder on the rear bank on the clutch side fires at 425 degrees and finally 180 degrees later, the cylinder on the front bank at the clutch side fires at 605 degrees. Here, the firing events at each cylinder takes place at fairly large intervals. It took almost two crankshaft revolutions to complete the firing events in all four cylinders. It means that the exhaust pulses produced by each cylinder are almost evened out. This gives the engine a steady screaming exhaust note. Since the V-twin sound is one of the defining characters of a Ducati, they insisted to preserve the V-twin rumble while developing the new V4 engine. Ducati achieved this goal by implementing a new firing order which Ducati calls as the twin pulse firing sequence. In the Stradale V4, the cylinder on the front bank close to the alternator side fires first at 0 degree. Then the cylinder on the same side but on the rear bank fires next at 90 degrees. After a long pause of 200 degrees later, the cylinder on the front bank on the clutch side fires at 290 degrees followed by the cylinder on the same side but on the rear bank at 380 degrees. Compared to the Aprilia in the Stradale V4, the first two firing events occurs at a very short interval of 90 degrees. This produces two concurrent exhaust pulses which will be at a higher pressure than the more evenly spaced down exhaust pulses of the Aprilia. This creates an effect of a single loud pulse. After the first two firing events, the next two firing events takes place 200 degrees later, which are also at 90 degrees apart. This small interval also results in the production of two concurrent pulses at higher pressure. This also produces the same effect of a single loud pulse as before. And as a result, the engine sounds like a big weed twin. So there you have it guys, 
Which one do you think sounds the best? The Ducati Panigale V4 or the Aprilia RS V4? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time. Ride safe.